Well, now to oral cancer. This can be a truly devastating condition. It's a cancer that is on the increase and we're still not finding it early enough or looking for it efficiently enough. There's now a new proposal to look for it Europe-wide and this new proposal is being led by Irish dentists. Well, I'm joined now by Dr. Connor McAllister, who is a dentist, and by Leah Mills, who has suffered previously from this uh, condition. Thank you both very much indeed for coming in this morning. Um, Leah, can I go to you first? You have had this cancer. How did you get diagnosed? Were you diagnosed on time? Uh, my diagnosis was actually a late one, Keelan. Um, it took a while because I had never heard of mouth cancer. And I think I didn't make the connection between oral health and general health, which I think... Do you know what, Leah? You haven't got a microphone on. I'm just going to put that on you now. Sorry about this. OK. There you go. OK. We're probably picking you up on another one. But go on ahead, though. You, you had a late diagnosis. You'd never heard of it before. I had never heard of mouth cancer. And if I had, I think I would have been a lot more persistent about following up a sore that I had in my mouth. Um, I think in general people maybe don't make enough connection between oral health and general health and that's something that dentists maybe could pick up on. But the whole point about it is I'm not here to scare anybody but an early diagnosis means that treatment can be discreet and contained and not as extreme as a later diagnosis might be. So if anybody has any concerns about a sore or a lump in their mouth that lasts for longer than two to three weeks they should get it checked. Okay, well, Conor, if I can go to you, I mean, it's on the increase, this cancer. That, and why is that? Well, um, the traditional risk factors are tobacco and alcohol, and in particular, the combination of the two. The, there would appear to be some emerging risk factors, such as HPV virus, perhaps, and uh, binge drinking and other such things. So, you're so we're not quite sure people. why it's increasing but we are seeing a new cohort of younger patients who don't conform to the uh, usual pattern. In other words, they're non-smokers, non non-drinkers. Um, so the disease is on the increase in Ireland and throughout Europe, unfortunately. And you've come up with an initiative now to try and spot this disease a bit earlier. Can you tell me about that? Well, in 2010, largely uh, down to Leah and a group of mouth cancer survivors, we launched a campaign, a mouth cancer awareness campaign in Ireland. And since then, we've run three mouth cancer awareness days. Uh, we've examined, we've offered free examinations to a total of about 18,000 people. And fortunately, we've turned up 21 cases of mouth cancer, which otherwise may have been missed. Really? So, and now you're hoping to do this Europe-wide. You're trying to get the hundreds of thousands of dentists who are working in Europe to follow your example. Yes. Uh, later today, there's a meeting in Dublin of the Council of European Dentists. And this, these are dentists from uh, 32 countries in Europe who represent 340,000 dentists. So we're going to try and persuade them, Leah and myself, later on today to take part in a European Mouth Cancer Awareness Day, perhaps in uh, 2014. It would be a huge achievement, Connor, if you do, if you do pull that off. Um, can I ask you, if, I mean, going back to the um, actual disease, it's a, it's a pretty serious cancer. What is the problem with its diagnosis presently? I mean, when people find something strange in their mouth, who are they going to? Well, the problem is a low level of awareness about the disease and the fact that it's still being detected far too late. Mouth cancer has a very good and excellent prognosis if diagnosed early, but a very poor prognosis if diagnosed late. And unfortunately, the five-year survival rates for mouth cancer have not improved over the last 20 years. At all. And, but, but why is it that people are getting it late? I mean, you know, are they, are they going to the right people when they do find something wrong in their mouth? Well, as dentists, we believe that dentists are the right people to check uh, for mouth cancer on a regular basis because we're used to looking in people's mouths, we're used to seeing normal mouths, and we can spot something that's abnormal very, very quickly. <clears throat> so what we're trying to do is to increase the number of people who come for regular dental examinations. In Ireland, 8 out of 10 people are entitled to a free dental examination once a year, either under the medical card scheme or the PRSI scheme and yet only about a quarter of those take up their entitlement. So we would like government to inform people that they're entitled to a free dental examination and that it's a very important thing to have done just once a year. Just check it out. And Leah, I mean, you know, when you had something wrong in your mouth, how long did you let it go before you, you did something about it? Well, all in all, in fact, I did go to a dentist, but he mistook my symptoms for something else, a benign chronic condition. And that was because I didn't fit the standard profile. I think I was a woman. I was in my 40s. I had given up smoking eight years before. I thought I'd got away with it. 
um, and I was a social drinker. So for all of those reasons, I think uh, it, it just, and, and also because I wasn't persistent about following it up. But I you think, hadn't really heard of it. Exactly, exactly. So that's the whole thing, that if people know about it, and the, the actual check for mouth cancer is just a simple visual inspection. It's completely pain free. So, uh, and it's part of a routine dental examination, as Connor says. So, so well worth picking up your uh, entitlement to free examinations. Listen, very best of luck with the uh, European dentist later on today. It will be a terrific initiative if you get that through. And thank you very much for coming Thanks, out to us Gil. this thank morning. You,